This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, playing with World Chalice, playing with the Machine Dupe stuff, which is actually, I've been doing a lot more testing with it, and I've actually been liking it a lot. Um, the fact is that, like, Machine Dupe uh, in itself is super cool because of the fact that it is a um, it is an engine card essentially uh, because you can like have a tribute summon for World Legacy World Chalice and then machine dupe out more copies and you can just link with those it's actually something that I hadn't considered uh, up until literally just a little while ago so I'm actually liking it a lot more and more um, a lot more the more I test it but uh, we'll tribute this for this this Imduk will then allow me to special summon Lee from hand uh, I'm not going to be able to mask the World Legacy World Chalice. Oh, Cyphering Gear uh, Gamma. Well, okay then. Um, so, Cyframe Driver. So, he's playing this nonsense, and this is fine. I didn't lose any value here. Um, I'm glad he did this here, because then that means that I get to just... <laughs> I get to literally just do this. Um, so, I can't make Aurum. I can't make... Uh, I can't make Eeb, but I can make Proxy Dragon. Uh, and so what that will allow is that will allow for a specific thing to uh, to occur and take place. But so I'll make Proxy Dragon up here. Uh, the World Legacy World Chalice will trigger. And now he has Ash. Alright. Alright, big boy. You're starting to get on my fucking nerves with this bullshit. Well, luckily, I've still got Exodius plus Lee. Um, and his stuff gets banished. So, I mean, he's still starting on four cards. He's not any better off for the situation, but... Damn, that was actually kind of irritating and stressful. Ah, Pot of Desires. I don't have an Ash Blossom for that, unfortunately. Um, he has six cards in his extra deck. What is he tryharding so hard with? Is he playing legit Cyframes and those three, those six cards are literally Omegas and Zetas? I would die if that was the case. I would literally be the most upset. <laughs> Cyframes is one of those decks that's literally just absolutely awful. Um, in every stretch of the imagination. It's awful to play against. It's an awful deck. Um, there's one person that keeps sending me Cyframe deck lists to my Facebook fan page, like I care, uh, and I'm, I've just, mm, no, no, Cyframes are, no, 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 no. You want my input on Cyframes? My input is, don't. Smiley face. But, um, oh my god, he is just playing Cyframes! Fuck, this is gonna be stressful as shit! I'm gonna have to do some cheeky bullshit. There's an Ash, so that's something that we could work with, potentially. Alright, well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna normal summon this, I'm gonna activate its effect. I'm gonna put him on better have the other gamma. God damn it. Oh, you fuck! Alright, well I'm just gonna Ash Blossom it, and then I'm just gonna attack. Um, I don't wanna deal with an Omega. So that's gonna stay in his hand, I know that it's in his hand. Which is the problem that I'm gonna have to deal with, but at the same time, fuck, 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 fuck. I don't want to deal with that. I'm just gonna attack. That's that's my game plan. My game plan is attack with monsters. Um, this is such a shitty game plan, though. <laughs> it puts him on. If he has beta, then he just uh, then he's just so far ahead. And if this is Cy if this is uh, the Cyframe Overlord uh, like trap card, the continuous trap, then then I'm gonna be a problem. I've got a 1500 turn damage. Uh, I should have searched for a vanilla instead of this card. If I had searched for a vanilla, then I could have normal summoned it next turn and put more damage on board. I suck at this. All right. Well, luckily for me, we're gonna be dealing with. Uh Potentially this not being the, the uh, continuous trap. Uh, Spellbook of Secrets, yes. Keep drawing cards. Um, there's going to be a specific point at which he's already at 17 cards. So there's going to be a specific point at which I just don't have to do anything and I can just keep passing turn. Uh, because that's kind of how you can win against this deck. Uh, let's see. Yeah, discarding his uh, Spellbook Condition of Prophecy... In fact, I think it's to the point now where, let me see, what is he going to get off this duality? A Delta, a Driver, and a Desires. Um, he's taking the Desires. Interesting. 
Uh, does he? Oh my god, please don't normal summon Necroface. If you play Desires and normal summon Necroface, that's gonna suck for me. But he didn't take Delta. And Delta is the Trap Negator, I think? I don't know. Didn't want that. <laughs> Definitely didn't want that. Uh, you know what? As busterish as it may seem, I'm going to literally just keep passing turn. This is how I'm gonna win. I'm gonna keep passing fucking turn. Uh, Psyframes is definitely not not something I want to deal with. He can have that trap, sure. Uh, but at that point, he needs to he needs to draw into Psychic Feel Zone, which he could have banished a bunch of them. Um, even then, like it's just with this circuit up, I'm not activating anything. I'm not attacking into anything because Beta is a card. Um, I'm gonna have to put him on put on half Psychic Feel Zone. It's definitely not what I want to do, but it's what I'm gonna do. I'll just pat. I'll just keep passing turn. Um, like it's 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 uh, it's not what I want to do, but at the same time, it's what I might have to do. Now he's got that desires that is dead. Uh, so that's a good bit of knowledge to have. If it sounds like I'm not having a good time, it's because I'm not. Playing at Cyframe is always stressful, but the deck is always so shit. Uh, but I could easily just lose this game, and that's what's so stressful about it. Is that because he has this Gamma and this, uh, and this Driver over here. Metaverse, Ghost Ogre, and Driver. Alright. Because he has this Gamma and this Driver over here, I could easily just lose the game to, like, an Omega. Um, but even then, I don't think I'd actually lose it because I could actually just keep summoning Exodius and shit. And, like, one for one his one card. Um, things to consider, but I am going to start setting cards. Any any monster I draw that can be set, I'm going to set. Uh, because that doesn't trigger alpha, I think. The level 1 dude. I'm so upset that I still remember what all these cards do. Um, and because Exodius is in my deck and Exodius doesn't start chains, that's going to be another card that I can just throw onto the board and keep myself from dying. At this point, he's got 8 cards left. There's, there's, there's nothing that's going to happen here. Other than me just setting cards. Seto monster. Oh. And then I'm going to... I'm going to set all of these cards, in fact. I'm going to set Transmodify, I'm going to set my Soul Charge, I'm going to set every card. Uh, because if I set them, that means they can't be sniped with Omega, and if it comes down to where I actually have to play the game, then I have Soul Charge. This is such a... Uh, this makes me mad. I'm trying to... Smile through the pain! Um, yeah. Oh, right, Tribute Set for Driver. Yeah, that's a nice play. I like that play. That play's a cool play. Mm -hmm. Cool play, man. Um, cool plays are you. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and special summon this Exodius. <laughs> just to put it on the board, just so I could have the ability to draw into that Ash Blossom. Hell yeah, big boy. Um, there will eventually, let's see, he's at seven cards left. I just have to draw and set seven more times. The best way to play against Cyframe is just to not play the game. Sucks to suck, right? At, this, at any point, a Necroface just ruins my idea of how this is going to go. But if he summons Necroface, that's a monster on his field. Well, in fact, there's a monster on his field right now. So, like, I could be playing this game, but I don't think I want to. Just off the strictest, uh, off the strict basis of I'm triggered as fuck. But you know what? I am going to. I'm going to start playing this game. Um, because I can put Cyber Dragon Infinity on the field. <laughs> I'm going to start playing the game. Um, I could definitely do that. So I could make a uh, Gaia Saber, which would point down. That's a Shine Ball that I could flip and link with. Um, so we'll just do this. We'll just start playing the game, because he has a monster out. And we'll see where this goes. Start making him use cards, right? Maxi. <gasps> yes! I get to kill you now! 100%! There is no way you survive. Alright. False move, duelist. False move! My duelist has surrendered. Okay, so now I'm playing against Cyframes. I'm gonna put in, uh, I'm gonna put in Zaphions. I'm gonna put in Order. I'm gonna put in Twin Twister. I'm going to take out... I'm gonna be going second against this. So, take out the, take out the Order. Even though the games do get pretty long with this, I need to get rid of, um... I need to get rid of Vanilla. Actually, no. I want to put a vanilla back in because I just want to beat him. I just want to beat his face in. That's all I want to do. I'll take out a Venus. I'll take out a Lee. Um, I will take out a Machine Dupe. And we'll go with that. Yeah. Alright. We will go with this. 
This is such a stressful time, and if I didn't need to record for videos, I would have disconnected a long time ago. Because Cyframes is one of those decks that I will literally refuse to play against. Quite literally. Um, I will refuse to play against it. Because the best way to win against it is to literally not play. My opponent has ended his turn. Oh my. Um, so I might just be able to kill him? Uh, depends on what happens here. If he uses any form of card on this Ghost Ogre? That's not the kind of card I was talking about. <laughs> well, alright then. So, uh, what we have access into is that I can, uh, since I'm getting tokens anyway, I can make Link Spider. Link Spider can try and special Beckon out of my hand, which can then make Imduk. Um, and then, based off what happens there, ah, an Alpha. Okay, so now you're going to put Alpha on your field, which means I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want. This is great. I love this feeling. This is the only time when I'm going to be super excited to play against Cyframes, because my opponent is a buster, and he's putting this card on the field, so I'm going to kill him! Kill him! Everybody kill him! Alright. So we added that to his hand. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I get to normal summon this Venus, uh, just freely, now, because the he's got things on his field. He's not going to be responding to my shit, and he's not going to Ghost Ogre, because he's already Ghost Ogre the Blackwing. My opponent has left! My opponent has left the duel! Alright, so what the extent of my play was there was I was going to be making Cyber Dragon Infinity, because I have the machine duplication. Uh, and what I have access to is I've got Venus plus Exodius, which means I can literally flood the field. I've already got these tokens. I can do an Ingearsu draw three play. I can make some uh, firewalls and shit um, using the Exodius, and then I'd be able to do an Imduk play to drop World Legacy, World Chalice, and then I'd be able to uh, machine dupe out the things for Cyber Dragon Infinity, and then from there, I just win. So this video was stressful as shit, and it makes me upset when I play against Cyframes. The best way to play the game is to not play at all. Uh, so this gameplay video is literally a video of almost no gameplay. So... We're going to keep it at that. But I'm going to just cut this video short because I could easily sit here and talk for about 20 more minutes about why Cyframe is one of the shittiest decks in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh that I've ever seen and it sucks to play against and it literally just kills itself. It beats you or it kills itself, uh, but I don't have time for that. So anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. There wasn't really a lot of gameplay in this video, so I'll probably play some more videos with World Chalice and maybe put them up in the same day. Not sure yet. We'll figure out how that one goes later on. Because this is only, what, a 12-minute video? Not bad. But anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Drop a like if you want to see more World Chalice videos, more Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro videos, all that sort of stuff. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I'd love to welcome you on board to the channel. And links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook fan page, as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the videos I've been producing and want to help Peru help me improve quality of them and stuff like that, as well as get access into monthly raffle giveaways for sizable amounts of Yu-Gi-Oh! product or get access into my private Discord server where me and a bunch of other people chat on a daily basis, then Patreon is the best way to do so. If you're interested in the Discord or supporting the channel or getting into monthly giveaways, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon and see if any of that is of interest to you. But special thanks as always to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You have about a lot more than you may know, as I've already said, and you have my eternal gratitude as per usual. But as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video, and god damn it, if I see any more Cyframe Duelists, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs>